What if there was something that you could add to your videos that would allow you to trigger the YouTube algorithm and get more views? Well, there is, and in this video, I'll explain what that is so you can grow. Stick around. Brian G. Johnson. Brian G. here, and to grow on YouTube, stake your claim and amplify your message. Do that by subscribing, and to really jumpstart your channel, check out my free YouTube masterclass. Link in the description. Okay, check this out. In about five minutes, you're gonna understand, you're gonna discover the one thing that so many big YouTubers leverage that allows them to trigger the algorithm, reach a far bigger audience, and ultimately grow so much faster. Now here's what's interesting. When we talk about a special ingredient that boosts views, there are actually a tremendous amount of these special ingredients and some you're already aware of and sadly you can't leverage them. Good looks or exceptional results are two examples of this very thing. Here's a video on how I make $30,000 a month blogging and that is an exceptional result. The amount of people that make $30,000 a month blogging is few. But what do you do if you've got average looks and you don't have exceptional results? Three words, new, different, and unique. Now the power of new is absolutely incredible and it's the thing that so many big YouTubers leverage to drive more views and grow their channel. In fact of the matter is you might have already heard that leveraging new things like books, movies, people, etc is really powerful and is something that you can leverage. But let me ask you, do you know how? Because in this video, I'm gonna explain in detail how to make this work for your channel. However, first, I really need to talk about why this works. Remember, the premise of this video is how to trigger the YouTube algorithm. And if you don't trigger the algorithm, you're not gonna get more views. So what exactly do you have to do in order to trigger the algorithm? You've got to accomplish three things with the videos you publish. Early when you publish a video, this is what you want to see more than usual. In other words, the views to this particular video are more than usual. And then secondly, if you were to click over to watch time, again, you wanna see that the video is getting more watch time than usual. Hey Otis, what's happening? And you can see here that YouTube is telling me that the video is doing a good job. Great news, more people than usual are choosing this video from YouTube recommendations. However, to seal the deal, the video needs to gain subscribers. Now here's what's up. I get that YouTube can be really brutal when it comes to getting views, but if you follow what I'm sharing, you're gonna be amazed at just what's possible. You see, when your video has better views and watch time, that tells the algorithm, that tells YouTube that an audience loves your video and they're gonna be more likely to promote it out to recommend it to more people on YouTube. And this is exactly what happens. YouTube is gonna put your video in front of non-subscribed viewers the very thing that you need to grow your channel. Now here's what's really important. At the time of this screenshot, this video had 6,484 views. Now 2,879 of those views came from viewers that weren't subscribed to my channel. And what do you think would happen if nobody subscribed? That would send a signal to YouTube that people really don't dig the video. And that's why all three of these metrics really matter. Now I'm happy to report that the video is gaining subscribers. In fact, you can see on Sunday, August 16th, the video gained 21 subscribers. You see, when it comes to the YouTube algorithm in 2020, 2021, there are two words I want you to think about. They really sum up what the algorithm is trying to understand viewer satisfaction. This is a great example. Sometimes when YouTube sees a lot of people are watching a video, they'll actually survey viewers that watched. What did you think of this video? I built the Dream YouTuber Studio by Chris Howe. And here's what's interesting. Notice this viewer rated the video as okay. Now, Chris Howe has got like around 400,000 YouTube subscribers. He's really, really successful and the viewer rated the video okay. I gotta tell you, viewers are brutal and it's really hard to get people to subscribe. It's really hard to keep them watching 
And that's what really brings us back to those three things, those three ingredients that can supercharge your videos. And that's new, unique, and different. How exactly does that help you? Well, fact of the matter is this, people love new things. It's why people stand in line for the new iPhone every year. It's why people get really excited for the next installment of Call of Duty, which is coming out soon. And this is a great example, again, by Chris Howe. Notice this video on an older topic, best rendering and exporting settings for Premiere Pro. The video got not even 10,000 views and his channel's close to 400,000 subscribers. And yet, several days later, he published this video on the new Sony a7 III and noticed the video has driven over 65,000 views. That's six times the amount of views to the topic that's based on something new. It's interesting because viewers are gonna be a lot less likely to be critical of your video if it covers something new or if it's different. Listen, you can, do, you can absolutely do this, and what you wanna think about is this. Let this circle represent the things that you're interested in. Now, if you wanna get a whole bunch of views, then you have to make sure that you're targeting a big audience that's also interested in similar things. And the stuff in the middle, this right here, is what you're after. Now here's the thing, what we're really talking about today is audience interest. You wanna focus on a huge audience if you want a huge amount of views. Let me give you some examples on gaming and what we're looking at here is Google Trends. Notice the verbiage, the word they use, interest over time. Again, you really wanna think about my job is to focus on the interest of the audience. And notice the uh, interest level in Minecraft has kind of dropped over the years until we get to the summer of 2019. A huge resurgence in Minecraft. And what do you think some of the bigger YouTubers do? They start publishing videos on Minecraft. Exactly when Minecraft begins to blow up again for the like second time. But how do you do this for your niche? Really begin by thinking about people, places, and things that have interest. For example, let's say you've got a cooking channel. Well, one of the people that has a lot of viewer interest is Gordon Ramsay. And sure enough, I looked at how much interest Gordon Ramsay has over time, say over the last 10 years. And if I had a cooking channel, I would create recipes that were inspired by Gordon Ramsay. So the thing that you can think about is what are the new games that are coming out? What are the new movies that are coming out? What are the things that have a lot of buzz in the niche that you serve? Focus on those things and you'll be far more likely to get people to click because they're interested. Important, this won't work if you really don't focus on keyword phrases. This video on the screen now will help you identify keyword phrases to target, allowing you to get more views to the videos you publish. Click and watch that video so you can get the views. And when you do, you're gonna feed a poodle. Now I got two poodles, two poodles, and they're hungry. You dig?